Hi, I'm Nathan. Let's talk about Bible integrations with ProPresenter. I'm currently on the Show tab. I'll go over to the Bible tab. And if you don't see that, that is because it is turned off. A lot of non-churches also use ProPresenter and the Bibles is a part of the House of Worship integrations. You can toggle that back on by going to ProPresenter, Settings, go to General, and then at the top, you're gonna see Show House of Worship integrations. And if I go ahead and toggle that off, you can see that that thumbnail goes away and I can turn it back on so we can see it. With this section enabled, the Bible tab has now appeared and we can go ahead and get started inside of the Bible integrations. When you first click on the Bible tab, not much is going to appear if you don't have any Bible translations installed. So that is gonna be our first task. We're gonna to go to options in the top right and we're gonna go down to Bibles. And then we've got two tabs. We've got purchased ones and free ones. And downloading Bibles isn't the point of this video, but I do wanna point out clicking get Bibles. This is gonna take you to your Renewed Vision account. And if you've migrated to the new subscription model, then this is the same website you're gonna to use to find the Bible stuff. So you can see here that I can go ahead and add to cart several translations and different things and how many of those I want. I can also go over to my organization's products, click on Bibles, and now I can see here that our church has purchased several Bibles over the years, so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize one of those. Many, many translations can be purchased from Renewed Vision, and there are also the, those few free options. Go back to ProPresenter, go to the Bibles, go to free, you're welcome to download and install any of those. These are often the public domain Bibles. A lot of work goes into making the different Bible translations available in app. So users are asked to pay for this feature. So if you'd like to use this feature, then it's totally worth the $15 per Bible translation. And if you don't wanna purchase Bibles, that's fine too. I have a video that talks all about using ProPresenter, building sermon notes without the Bibles feature. I don't usually use it myself, I was recently talking with someone and decided to make this video because I realized what a great resource this Bibles feature can be when you utilize it in specific ways. So we already talked about how to purchase Bibles, how to download them onto your computer, and you can also pull previously purchased Bibles from Renewed Vision's website, adding those Bibles to your computer right inside of ProPresenter. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look up a scripture. We're gonna go ahead and type in like uh, John 3:16. I'll click enter and you can see here it creates a slide for John 3.16 and you can see here on my output that that is a scripture ready to go to put it on our screen. In fact, when I clicked on it, it sent it out to our screen. You can put this right over top of stuff. Okay, now we can also go a bit further. Let's do 16 through 18 and now it's gonna give us slides for this, which is fantastic. We can also search other things like, um, if all I could remember was for God, it will show me that John 3. Apparently for God so. I've always tried loved. There it is. But you can search uh, different specific keywords. You don't just have to look up specific scriptures inside of here, which is also really interesting to know that you're able to look them up that way. Now let's pivot from talking about how to look up scriptures and let's switch to how to present scriptures. If I look up just verse 16, you're gonna see it's really small, it's on the lower third. Uh, let's just kinda of go through the menu. So we can switch between our Bible translations right here if you have multiple ones installed. We can go over here to verse. So let's see, I don't want the verse, I just want the translation for some reason. So now it just shows me the translation. And I'm gonna click back to verse. And let's say this time, bring it all back. Uh, this time I want no reference, I just want the verse. So there's the verse, and we can do it with verse putting it right there, and then we can do reference on its own separate tab. Clicking on options, then going to slide options. This gives us a bunch of really cool features that allow us to format our slides before they leave here. I know some people, they'll just click on it and send the scripture live straight to the screen from here. I recommend if you're gonna use this, copy these slides and paste them into somewhere else. Create a new presentation, file new presentation, sermon slides, Let's do July 20, let's do today's date. And then we're gonna put that in the playlist. Let's put it in that one, new. Okay, so now we have our slides down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then open, go to show and then go open this folder and then just paste that in. So now if I go to quick edit, I can click on that and now I've got two different text boxes for the reference and for the verse. Okay, so that's fun. So now I'm gonna go back to the Bible tab because I wanna look at the options, slide options, and see what options are available for us. 
Let's go ahead and change this back to verse 16 through 20, click enter. So now we can see we've got someone here, someone here, someone here. Options, so some stuff that I really like to do, we can show verse numbers. So every single verse, it's gonna separate it by showing the verse number, which I think is awesome. Uh, we can also break on new verse. That'll put one verse on one slide, and I think that is the best way to go about that. We can also display the translation. I don't usually do that on every single slide, but that's totally okay. So on the right side here, this is gonna change the reference for the verse that is attached to the scripture. So if we change it to no reference, you can now see there's no reference on any of these slides. If I change it to passage last, it will put the reference at the very end of the scripture. We can also do passage each, so it'll show it on every single slide. I really like this, showing the entire block of scripture that we're reading at a time, and then on each slide show one verse. That way we know the bigger picture and we also know exactly where we're at. It's not hard to get lost. And then we can also do verse references so it'll show exactly what's on each slide. So whatever is the most appropriate thing to do in your context. Let's go ahead and switch back to passage each. Yep, perfect, that's what I want. The next thing I wanna do is work on formatting each of our slides. So on the options bit here, we can go to theme and we can create some theme slides that we can push all of this through before we send it over to our other presentation. So let's go ahead to our sermon themes here and we can pick any of our templates. We'll just do this one. So what this one's gonna do is it's going to put the scripture reference in the big part and then in the little part there, it's gonna read the slide label and it's gonna put the scripture reference right there, which I think is awesome. Okay, let's see what else we have. Here's a good alpha one, it needs the colors adjusted. I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new theme. Let's go to edit. And we're gonna go down here and we're just gonna create a new one. Okay, so here I'm gonna grab the text box and I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller and drag it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna make a smaller version over here. Let's go ahead and just do like a black fill. Actually, this blue looks pretty good. And then we'll grab a different shade of blue for this one. Lighter or darker, that's the question. Let's do it a shade darker. Okay, so this is where the text is gonna be. This, we're gonna to go to the text tab go to linked text, and then we're going to set it to slide label. Perfect, so now we're gonna label this as scripture. Okay, so there we have our body where our text is gonna go, our verse is gonna go, and then we have our slide label where our reference is gonna go. So let's go ahead under this one and just uh, call this one um, scripture verse, and then we have the slide label one. Okay, now we're gonna go back to show, gonna go back to Bible, and I'm gonna go ahead and select, let's just click a different one and then click back to our scripture one. And now we'll do verse 16 through 20 and then make sure that our settings are the same. And then under verse, I wanna set this one to be our scripture verse. And then under reference, we're gonna make that the slide label. So now when I click on this, it should be good. It shows the verse on the main section and the reference on the next section. Okay, so now I just gotta go ahead and copy this, command C over to our show sermon note slides. I'm gonna delete these and then paste those in. So now we are ready to present. And if I wanna make any adjustments, like come in here and split this so it's better aligned, I can go ahead and do that. And that looks good. We can adjust the theme if we wanna change any of the settings to make sure that things look as good as possible. So there you go, my newfound adventure into Bible references in ProPresenter. It's not a feature I've used it a lot, but I'm glad to show you how to use it today. In other videos on Crazy Amazing Designs, I've gone into my philosophy on creating and managing sermon notes, building macros and workflows to make these sermon notes really easy to set up each week. So go check out that video right here, but this scripture feature is very useful as well. Thanks so much for watching. Consider subscribing if this video was helpful. Check out crazyamazingdesigns.com if you'd like to learn more and find your next steps. See you in the next video, bye.